Okay, Judy, let's first uh, work on the exercises to kind of strengthen your pinky on that third string. Um, so what I want you to do is, we're going to start with our first finger on the, on the five note on the third string. Okay, we're used to going five, six, right? And we added that pinky here for the flat seven. I want you to go five, six, seven, and just sort of hold it, and then come back. Flat seven, six, five. Do it again. Five, six, flat seven, nice and slow. Just gonna hold it. Flat seven, six, five. Okay, do it a couple times. Then I want you to just do it without the third finger. So first finger, pinky. First finger, pinky. Nice and slow. And then get a little faster. Just work on that. You're trying to get the strength of that finger and point your finger as best you can to get it straight down. And then that's it. Don't spend any more time on that. <clears throat> that's to warm you up. And then we're going to start working on adding that flat seven and adding the high five in the riff. The riff we had before was five, six, seven, one. Okay? And it sounds very major scale, very nursery rhyme kind of thing. But we're going to add, today, we're going to add the high five. Okay, so where we had before, five, six, seven, one, three. Now we're gonna add this, five, six, seven, one, five, okay? Okay, that's the first part. Second part is we're gonna make uh, some use of this flat seven. Okay, now there's a couple of different ways we can use the flat seven. One is to replace the seven, but I think the way to keep this sounding more like what we had before, let's use it to replace the six. So we got five, excuse me, five, six, seven, one. This time, instead of playing the, the six with our third finger, I'm gonna play the flat seven. Five, flat seven, seven, one. Everything else is the same. Five, flat seven, seven, one. Okay? Five, flat seven, seven, one, and then I want you to add that three. Okay? You two things there now. We have the first one, which is five, six, seven, one, high five, and we've got five, flat seven, seven, one, three, and that's what I want you to work on. Back to back, those two things. Five, six, seven, one, five, five, flat seven, seven, one, three. Okay, back to back, just keep working on that. You don't need to put it in with the four and the five chord yet, but this is what it would sound like all together. Nice, Dean. That'd be the whole blues form. You do not have to do that yet. I just want you to hear it all together. Um, hopefully that helps it make more sense in context. Uh, and that'll do it. That is your thing for this week. I'm gonna give you a jam track um, with me strumming along in the key of A in probably around 80 beats per minute. Just back it off. We said 82, let's make it 80 just to make it a little easier. And that will be to your next.